us today also is Dr. Esteban Gonzalez of the South Texas Behavioral Health Center. He is a licensed psychiatrist who has been following Diana's case at our request and has agreed to work with you whenever you get home. Meet Dr. Gonzalez. Hello. All right. um, you believe she is a threat to herself, correct? That seems to be the case, yes. Yeah, I, it, it, it appears to me that this is a very layered and convoluted situation that has manifested itself uh, in this particular manner. And it's not like this is a one element problem. You do have a history that has to be dealt with. You are dealing with d depression and anxiety and agoraphobia and all types of things that this is a, this is a, a pretty tangled web, doctor, don't you, don't you think after looking at the records? Yes. And uh, Ari, at this point, um, this, your experience has been, this requires a, a pretty intensive and long-term intervention. Most definitely. The first thing I would recommend is stopping the cosmetic procedures. They do not work. They never work for body dysmorphic disorder. In fact, they always exacerbate BDD. In terms of treatment, I'd highly recommend, Diana, a combination of cognitive behavioral therapy and medication management, both. Um, I, I recommend a minimum of two years of therapy, weekly therapy for two years. If, if we get you started down this road, and Dr. Gonzalez has, has been so great to come here today uh, from Texas, we ask him to come here, to be here for you today, with you today, to talk to you about this today, will you immerse yourself in this and really start not just living with this but working through this absolutely if it's going to save my life diana's really good at going to therapy convincing the therapist or the psychiatrist that she's better mm -hmm. so that everything stops the medication stops mm -hmm. and the therapy stops okay wait yeah well no th th both of you stop this ain't his first rodeo um, she doesn't know. She let me tell you. She's yeah, doesn't. well, that's between them and them. Let us do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't. What are you trying to do? Say no, don't do it. I want her to do it. And okay, I want then her don't to say what. Do you, it, don't yeah. discourage her from doing it. I mean, do you think we don't know that these are manipulative people? Mm -hmm. We get that, and I want you to support it and encourage it, or stay out of it. Don't sabotage it. No, I wouldn't sabotage okay. it. I want her to get the. All right. She needs it. All right. Good. All right. So. I want you to keep listening to what we're going to talk about in the rest of the show. Next, she's won beauty pageants and still thinks she's fat and ugly. Does she have body dysmorphic disorder? She's been told that she does. It's been written about that she does. We're going to find out about that when we come back. body dysmorphic disorder. It's very hard for me to walk out of the house and not think that people are disgusted by the way I look. I feel like a part of my daughter, Diane, is missing. Starting this Thursday. Did you have sexual interactions with any student? Absolutely not. She's the French teacher. Accused of sexual misconduct with three male students. Why would they say that about you? Why would you have students to your home? Now. Did you have sexual relations with this teacher? What will a lie detector reveal? Uh, my hand in her. We're going to find out the polygraph results. Were you lying to me? Plus. I talk to men like the idiots they are. Who peed in your Cheerios? What do these six people have in common? Women line up to date guys like me. I would definitely be at the end of that line. Find out when Dr. Phil gives them the shock of their lives. So you think if you have sex before marriage, you're going to hell? Right. You married? No. You had sex? Well... <laughs> be the most judgmental person I've ever met. You won't believe what I got in store for these people. And 
You watched as Dr. Phil helped this 62-pound woman fight for her life. See how she's doing one year later. And... I'm scared I'm not going to wake up one day. Now it's about to happen to this woman. I just feel like I'm never good enough. With anorexia shutting her organs down, it's up to Dr. Phil to wake her up. You are going to die soon. The stories that are changing people's lives. I don't know what to do anymore. Starting Thursday, only on Dr. Phil. You need to draw the line in the sand right now. We're back talking with young women who say they hate the way they look. Cheyenne is 17 years old and says when she looks in the mirror, she sees an ugly, overweight girl with thunder thighs who looks like a cow. Her mother, Bobette, says she just wants Cheyenne to love herself for who she is and how she looks. I am stressed about the way I look 24 hours a day. When I look in the mirror, I see someone who is fat. My arms look like little toothpicks. I have thunder thighs. My nose is hideous. I feel like my body is totally out of proportion, as if somebody stuck random parts and decided this is what's left. That's kind of what I ended up with. It's very hard for me to walk out of the house and not think that people are disgusted by the way I look. She suffers from body dysmorphic disorder. She would sit in front of the mirror and pluck her eyebrows constantly. I was worried she wouldn't have any left. Body dysmorphic disorder makes me feel horrible about myself. The amount of stress that I go through from day to day because of it is incredibly draining. I want my daughter Cheyenne to see herself the way everyone else sees her. So this is Cheyenne with the lights on. Um, are you surprised? Yes. 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 Um, what do you think about people's reaction that see you differently than you see yourself? Does that affect your thinking in any way? Um, I think that for the most part, because I'm so insecure with the way I look, I hear other people make comments, oh, she's so pretty, she's beautiful, and I think they're lying to me. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mom? What People do you think's going on here? I have no idea what's going on with her. People tell her all the time how beautiful she is. From the time she was born, she's, she was a beautiful baby, and I, I don't understand. I mean, she's gorgeous. You recognize that by some objective standard, if you were going to grade skin, hair, features, weight, height, measurements, dimensions, proportions. If you were going to type up a bionic Cheyenne, numerically, would it be who you are? Um, numerically, it would not be what I see. It's what I ask you. It, it, it would be who I am. It would be. You can't change numbers. I mean, if we took the numbers, you know, we took your measurements, we graded your skin quality, all of that kind of stuff, and we said, okay, you got to pick a model over here. Would that, would your number 